Chopper 9, getting you breaking news as it happens first, fast, on your side. Chopper 9, the only local helicopter getting you breaking news first. He abducted an innocent teen, locked him up, but this ex-Cincinnati police detective is still a free man tonight. He calculatingly preyed upon innocent people for his own sexual pleasure. The sacrifice the teen's mother made to save her son and why even being sentenced to prison wasn't enough to put this man behind bars. New developments in the deputy-involved shooting, including the state agency that won't step in. And the newest plan to curb prostitution, bring in the wives. Next, how the women at home may keep other women off the street. Now, breaking news and the Tri-State's most accurate forecast. This is 9 on your side. Can a police officer snatch your child out of school and put them in jail even if the officer knows your child is completely innocent? No, but it happened in Cincinnati and the I-Team is on the case. Here's Chief Investigator Brendan Keefe. Brendan? Well, this case has gone all the way to the Ohio Supreme Court, but it began with an innocent teenager sitting in class when a detective showed up to steal his freedom. This man has been convicted of abducting a teenager from school and locking him away for nine days. But tonight, Julian Steele is a free man. Sentenced to five years, he hasn't served a single day in prison since his conviction in 2010. That's where he belongs, is behind bars. Judge Megan Shanahan used to be a prosecutor. Every trial lawyer has that one case that haunts them. Hers involved Julian Steele. He calculatingly preyed upon innocent people for his own sexual pleasure, that goes so far beyond what a normal person is, is expected to do, let alone a police officer. That's right. Julian Steele was a detective with the Cincinnati Police Department in 2009 when he threatened a 17-year-old boy into confessing to a series of robberies he didn't commit, then had the teen locked up. The next thing you know, they put me in handcuffs. He just took my whole world away, like, just threw me in jail. The victim doesn't want us to show his face because other than that false arrest, he's never been in trouble. All my life, I said I was going to never be in trouble. I ain't never wanted to go to jail. Next thing you know, I end up in jail. I just never thought it happened to me. Locked up and falsely accused by a police officer. He three times told me that, in fact, he knew um, this kid didn't have anything to do with the case, but he had pulled him out of school, questioned him, and then subsequently locked him up to ensure his mother's cooperation. Judge Shanahan was the prosecutor on the boy's case. The moment she learned he was innocent, she personally went to juvenile detention and set the boy free. That was just the best day of my life. The following day after we had the child released, his mother came back to me to tell me the rest of the story, which was horrifying. For nine days, the teen was locked up. And while this was his limited view of the world, according to prosecutors, the detective who put him in here was having sex with the innocent boy's mother. The poor mother, you know, she's being told by Detective Steele the entire time, I am the only one that can get your child out. And if you don't do this for me and with me, he will stay locked up. The detective became the defendant, tried on 10 felony counts, including intimidation, abduction, and rape. He was convicted for intimidating and abducting the teen, but the jury decided if there was any sex between the detective and the boy's mother, it was consensual. I am innocent, and that's the reason why I have been fighting. I am innocent. The former officer and his lawyer have been appealing the case for years. What was his relationship with the boy's mother? He met her during the course of the investigation. At his pad or crash pad or whatever his... That, that was later on. Steele was indicted in 2009, convicted in 2010, and after multiple appeals, the Ohio Supreme Court upheld his convictions in June of last year. Yet he's still not in prison pending yet another appeal. He knew he made a mistake and he did nothing to correct it. But that is not a crime, Your Honor. That's not the crime of abduction. Why is it you're a free man sitting in front of me when you've got this conviction now upheld by the state Supreme Court? Because this is a very unique case. This is a police officer who made an arrest uh, during a police investigation. That's what he's convicted of. 
He's convicted of doing his job. I uh, just feel um, betrayed. What does that do to you to know that he's walking the streets a free man when you were put in jail as an innocent man? They were so quick to put me in jail, but then when the tables turn, he does walk free. Do they ever really care? If I were the judge, he wouldn't be walking free. Is Steele staying out of prison because he was a police officer? Yes, because this is the first time an officer has been convicted of abduction for making an arrest. The Ohio Supreme Court ruled an officer is no different than a kidnapper if he takes someone into custody knowing the suspect is innocent. Is this going to have a chilling effect on police officers now afraid to make arrests because they might find themselves in prison? Absolutely, because that's what the precedent is, if you read the Supreme Court's decision. It's not going to have any chilling effect whatsoever. Julian Steele was not acting like a police officer, he was acting like an animal. And Steele has filed a new appeal to the Ohio Supreme Court, claiming he didn't know the teen was innocent at the time of the arrest. And right now on WCPO.com, you can see all of the original filings, including the argument originally made to the Ohio Supreme Court where that conviction was upheld. You can also see video of the attorneys arguing their case before the justices of the Ohio Supreme Court. And right now on my Facebook page, Brendan Keefe, WCPO, you can discuss this case starting right now. Guys? Really stunning report, Brendan. Thank you.